Harper in uh, Autodesk 3DS Max 2009. And I'm just going to show you how to model the tail using a basic cone. I'm going to go to the top view. And our first ring. Pull it down and taper it. Of course, that's not at all what I wanted to do, so let's try that again. It is what I wanted to do, it's just not very accurate as far as size. And shape. Here we go. That's a little better. Now, once you have this, of course, you can always kind of shape it and adjust it the way you want. Um, currently, I have the segments at 5 sides at 24 and the 24 kind of helps give me something to pull the tail out with so it's nice and thin once I have the cone established I can turn it into an editable poly and from here I can select my segments so I select the top ring and of course you can just go ahead and start doing your uh, regular scaling And that will give shape to the waist and whatnot. And you also might want to um, move this so that you have your front nice and smooth and flat, and the back uh, more shapely for like the buttocks and the rest of the tail. But that's neither here nor there. I'm not going to get, be getting into that. I'll just do something really quick here just to kind of give you an indicator of what I'm talking about. And, you know, something like that. <clears throat> And of course there's a lot more shaping that needs to go on here, but that's really not what I wanted to focus on or what I wanted to show you. I'm going to go into full screen mode at this point and zoom in a little bit here. Um, I have ignore back facing off at the moment. Actually what I want to do is go into polygon selection mode. Using control I can select multiple polys. Uh, so Switch the view to the right. <clears throat> I'm going to check ignore back facing so I don't deselect the ones behind it. Use control and do that way. Hit P to switch to perspective mode. And something like that. Now the question is how to extrude these and that's basically what I'm going to be doing is extruding them to create the tail. Um, at this point, what's important is your view and your mode up here, as far as which of these s modes you're going to be using for centering and extruding and all that. <coughs> In this current mode, it's pretty basic, I can just extrude them. And the bulk of what I'm going to be doing is done through the uh, scale tool. If you scale, you can see how it appears that they're actually rotating, but they're not. They're actually scaling in the X direction only. And then I can also scale in the Z direction to give it even more angle and shrink these edges a little bit. And we will go to the Move tool by hitting the W key and move them down. And I might want to rotate or uh, scale, I should say, a little bit more. Well, something like that, maybe. Um, hmm. Too much. And we'll extrude them again. Get a little bit more extrusion here. Scale them that way. Scale them this way. Yada yada. 
<laughs> now you can see that they're kind of getting far apart. There's no way to get uh, the scale to actually move them closer together until you switch to the second option down here, which will scale them in from the center of the, uh, of the model. Now when I scale, they'll actually scale closer together as a, as a whole. I'll switch back to my first option there. Scale them a little bit that way. Scale them out a bit again. All right. So now you have the basics on how to get your scaling and, and segments done by just continuously extruding and bringing them in and then scaling in the X and Z directions. Z really needs it in this case. Uh, let's switch back here. Something like that. Now for the final segment, uh, you're going to extrude it. <coughs> I guess we can scale it while we're at it so that it's kind of tail-like like there. I guess we can scale that. Uh, move them out a bit. Alright. So something like that. Um, let's switch back to the individual mode where I'm scaling together. Actually, what I could do is scale in the X, Y, and Z directions as much as I possibly can to bring the vertexes at the points as close together as possible. I'm going to switch to vertex selection mode. And I'm going to turn off the <coughs> mode there so I can actually weld these points together. I'm going to raise the weld threshold. You can see I lost five, uh, five vertexes this way, which is, should be good. And I'm just going to click that to do the same thing, verify that it's, yeah, all right. And, you know, that's basically it. Uh, the rest is all just kind of shaping and, you know, moving things around and making it look nice. Hopefully that answered all your questions. If you have any others, um, the only other thing I might add is that uh, as far as the torso and joining the tail to the torso, instead of using a cone, I might have actually started with the torso and used the extrude tool to extrude the bottom of the torso down. Just remember if you're going to do that to not start at the hips because technically um, this uh, segment right here is actually going to be your <coughs> your uh, hip section. This one right here. And that's where your bones are going to be bending. This is actually your waist up here where where your waist should actually come in a little bit more, so something like that. Got it? Again, any questions, contact me at hxamaranth at hotmail.com.